So what is it like to be a child in Bipur? They said, it's like this. When I'm in a classroom, I put my hand up and the teacher looks at me and says, you are one of the poor ones. You're lucky to be in the room. Sit down and let one of the smart children answer the question. And then I go into the playground and I notice that some of the kids have actually got a real soccer ball. And as I join them, they say, you are one of the poor ones. Go and play with the other poor ones. And then I walk home and as I'm walking through the marketplace, the lady that's running the stall is watching me because she thinks I'm poor and I'm a thief. And then when I go home and I want to go out and play, but I know that the neighbours don't want to play with me because their mothers and fathers have warned them not to play with me as though poverty is some kind of disease that you can catch. And what was amazing is that no children brought up hunger, sickness, bad schooling. It was connections and meaning and purpose and dignity. That's how a nine-year-old described the feeling of poverty. The experience of poverty is a much more intimate experience and it's understood in a deeply human way.